Hello again, Risk Community. Welcome to another video tutorial to help you get started and make the best of ServiceNow. My name is Eric Ferron in Santa Clara, California, and my guest today is Anushri Randad, who is Principal Product Manager in the Risk Business Unit. Good afternoon, Anushri, and actually welcome back. You were with us some month ago to show us some of the new GRC features in the Madrid release. Good afternoon, Eric, and good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for having me back. Today, Anushri, you're going to help us understand better how the GRC applications can be used for IT compliance. Indeed, businesses are under increasing regulatory pressure to satisfy higher safety standards, while at the same time, the universe of risks that they're exposed to, driven by digital transformation, is growing like never before. And somewhere in the middle of all of this, we find dedicated professionals and teams with limited resources, such as people on our audience, who need to keep those businesses compliant and they need the right tool. So you're absolutely right. Remaining compliant with data has always been a concern for organizations and a huge headache for IT. And there are various things that contribute to this headache. One of which is BYOD. Many companies are choosing nowadays to allow their staff to bring their own devices to the workspace to reduce the cost. But it is also contributing to the security risk and the personal devices bring vulnerabilities along with them. The second one is software management. Keeping up with the software updates and patching existing software when vulnerabilities are detected is another major issue for IT organizations. Third is the legislation like GDPR, which is a real area for potential IT compliance failure. Your organization should have appropriate policies for data sharing with third parties, and non-compliance can actually cost your company up to 4% of global turnover. The fourth one is vendor management. The major vulnerability of many companies comes from electronic data inter interchanges and vendor system integrations. Managing not only vendor information security, but also vendor compliance with privacy law is a major undertaking and a significant compliance challenge. Fifth, but not the least, is the IoT. With the proliferation of the Internet of Things, there is an explosive growth in the number of endpoints and the interconnected devices, resulting in a huge number of vulnerabilities. So it has become challenging for IT to manage all these risks. In addition to that, this is how the GRC looks like in a typical enterprise today. You can see that there are usually multiple regulations an organization must adhere to. When you look at it across all these different groups, what we see is that each group thinks it's a completely unique entity and each group creates their own policies, their test controls and test these controls independent of each other. This results in a ton of repeatable manual processes within each department. And to bridge the gap between all of these silos, people are now forced to collaborating in systems such as emails, meetings, spreadsheets which keep all these things offline. There are no integrated reporting or workflows driven processes, and there is no transparency across these siloed processes or organizations. So the way IT would like to resolve this problem is by understanding regulations and requirements, automating the compliance measurements, and remediating or accepting risk as issues arise. And this is exactly what ServiceNow policy and compliance application helps you to do. A recent study by Forrester that consolidated the value derived across six customers shows that the ability of ServiceNow GRC to save your time and money. Now, policy and compliance management is made up of six key capabilities. One is policy management. This is your collection of all your policies and related control objective or requirements. This provides users with capability to manage policies and send it for review and approval process. They can manage a different version of the policies. If you have other systems where you're managing your policies, you can is easily integrate with your existing policy management system to import policies into ServiceNow. Policy exception management is a second key capability. This allows you to request exception to policy or even control objectives and manage it in a central place. Third is policy acknowledgement. Policy owners can send policies to employees or group of employees for acknowledgements on a set frequency. Fourth one is issues and remediation. Issue and remediation tasks can be managed easily in a central place. Fifth is continuous monitoring. 
You can create control indicators to monitor control continuously and pull the evidence automatically based on defined conditions. Last but not the least is various integrations that we provide in policy and compliance. So policy and compliance application integrates with other applications such as UCF for importing common controls or security application such as vulnerability response or configuration compliance for continuous control monitoring. We also integrate with vendor risk to monitor risk associated with working with the vendors. So let's get into each one of them in more details and see how each of the module works in the policy and compliance application. First one is policy management. Organizations today manage their policies and controls in various tools such as Word Doc, Excel, and there is lack of visibility into compliance posture and effect on policies. What we provide with policy and compliance is uh, the ability to create policies and map them to control objectives. The integration with UCF allows you to import authority documents such as COBIT, ISO 2700, etc. And as a compliance manager or policy owner, you can send policies through review and approval process. You can track policy versions and you can also track compliance scores on each policy. Next is policy exception. So the different teams in an organization have their siloed processes and tools to manage the exceptions. With policy exception uh, management capability, we provide you with a centralized place for managing policies and exceptions. Also provide you ability to create exceptions from other now applications such as vulnerability response, change management, incident management, even problem management, which allows you to manage all your policies as well as exception in one central place. The policy exception uh, module provides uh, with capability to approve the exceptions dynamically based on various conditions and there could be multi-level policy approvals. We also provide the ability to tie in risk assessments and bring in the risk information for better review and approval. The next one is policy acknowledgement. A lot of organization uses different tools for managing policies and sending out acknowledgements for those policies. They, they have like certification tools such as e-learning tools uh, which sends out the acknowledgements and then these acknowledgements are captured and managed in a dif different tools than where the policies are managed. There's no central system to manage those policies and acknowledgements. Now, customers can use the policy acknowledgement setup to create upcoming acknowledgement campaigns based on frequency. We also provide the ability to dynamically set up audience using list of users or list of groups or even condition builder, which sends acknowledgements to these users based on defined conditions. Provide the ability to have an option per policy to decline or request exception for that particular policy by integrating with policy exception management. We record the responses of the acknowledgement for measuring compliance. The next one is an important part of GRC. It's continuous monitoring. A lot of organizations have the controls monitor monitoring capability where it is highly manual and there's no easy way to integrate with various sources. With control indicators, Customers can pull automated evidence and help monitor the controls automatically. They can integrate with various sources and pull relevant results, which could be presented to aud auditors. It shows real-time effect on risk. The next one is the issue and remediation task management. There is no single repository to track all the issues today and the customers get stuck on emails and try to the remediate these issues offline. Issue creation becomes very manual and highly tedious. What we provide is the capability to create automated issues based on responses to control attestations or indicator failures or even control test effectiveness. We also provide the ability to group issues. Issue grouping rules helps you automatically group like issues when certain criteria is met. For example, if all the issues are related to Windows servers and are assigned to you, the issues can be grouped together and you can remediate all those issues by just resolving one single issue. We also provide capability to associate or add multiple remediation tasks under an issue and you can assign out these remediation tasks to different users who will help resolve these issues. The next one is GRC integrations. 
In lot of organization, GRC program is siloed from rest of the business. There is no integrated view of how well an organization manages its unique set of risks. So what we provide is various integrations. We have UCF integration, which allows importing of various authority documents, citations, and common control. We also integrate with other now applications or products, such as vulnerability response, for monitoring active vulnerabilities and their effect on critical business services and IT infrastructure. The configuration compliance integration provides the ability to monitor controls and validate compliance for IT security policies and industry standards, such as PCI, NERC, COBIT, NIST 853, etc. By aggregating scan results from integration with configuration scanning applications such as Qualys. You can also associate your control objectives with questions in VRM questionnaire by integrating with VRM application. Incorrect answers from a vendor can automatically mark a control as non-compliant. Now, non-compliant controls will then automatically adjust the residual score of risk associated with those controls, which are then rolled up into all other IT operations and risk across your organization. Thank you for this, Anushri. Thank you for this very complete overview on how the GRC application service now can help with the IT, IT compliance. So now before we close, what would be your immediate recommendation for our audience? So what I would recommend is looking at our implementation guide, which will give you more details around each module and how each module in the policy and compliance is implemented. The second thing I would highly recommend, take up the policy and compliance trainings. There are two useful trainings. One is GRC Fundamental Two Days Workshop. And the second one is the risk and compliance implementation course. So by, by registering to these courses and going through them will be really useful and I would highly recommend. All right, very good. Thank you so much, Anushree, for your time. Thank you so much to our audience for listening. Before we sign off, a couple of reminders. Of course, the slides that Anushree took us through will be available in PDF format on the forum. And when and if you have questions, please go to our Governance, Risk and Compliance Forum on the NOW community. Anushri and many other specialists will be there to take your questions and provide the right answers. Again, thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye.